Getting colder and windier in central Iowa and as the day started, we thought it would be a bad day because look at this. The Storm Prediction Center had a very high risk of tornadoes. This is just the tornado outlook today in southeastern Iowa, including the Quad Cities, including Iowa City and all the way almost to Des Moines. We had a high risk of tornadoes in eastern Iowa, the eastern part of our viewing area. And exactly like that, we had the tornado watch issued. We had tornadoes uh, popping up. Look at all the tornado watches all the way from from, uh, east of Dallas all the way up to north of Chicago, including eastern Iowa. Still very active thunderstorms here. We have one magenta warning and the magenta tornado warning means the tornado has been spotted. So it's confirmed tornado up here to the west of Dubuque. And so these continue to produce tornadoes. Davenport has a tornado warning right now. We've had tornadoes around Iowa City today. Dave will be talking more about those uh, uh, reports later on. Right around Manchester, that's our tornado warning right now. So it's all moving out of the viewing area, but boy, it was a very active day, even in central Iowa. Things have cleared out. Here's the long loop going back to earlier today. We had a lot of hail, as you saw on the video in Ames, that hail falling today. Watch the loop again. Thunderstorms started in southern Iowa. That cell right there went through Ames, went up into Hubbard. So it's been very, very active. Things are clearing out now. We're looking much better out there as we see clearing skies. The winds have been very gusty, and we have had a lot of wind, but Dave is here with the wind reports and all the storm reports, Dave. Yeah, lots of storm reports. Like you said, uh, hail reports, especially in Ames that pile up like snow. We could see snow overnight tonight. The first tornado of the day that touched down. We'll hear from meteorologist Evan Bunkers here in just a second from northeastern Wapolo County. That tornado was likely on the ground for a couple dozen miles lifted just before it got to Johnson County and Iowa City. Speaking of Iowa City, reports of 20,000 people, 20,000 customers without power tonight in Iowa City. The cold front is almost caught up to the dry line. It's still 50 in Mason City right now. Temperatures finally dropping in eastern Iowa. It was 74 in the last hour in Burlington, 36 in Sioux City. That's the cold air coming our way in the next couple of hours. But guess what? Wow, the sun is out just like at about 9 or 10 o'clock this morning, except it's about 30 degrees colder. We hit 78 for a high in Des Moines. It's 48 now. West winds pumping sustained at 25 miles per hour. Ames hit 80 degrees, the first 80 of the year for Ames. I think Brad showed these. Peak wind gusts between 50 and 60 miles per hour. Dew points dropping off from west to east. Today into tonight, wind gusts are only going to actually increase we're going to see wind gusts upwards of 50, 55 miles per hour. If you're heading out, take that windbreaker and then some. The winds back off late in the day Saturday. Sunday turns into an ice day, but another storm system could be on the way for Tuesday. Brad will walk through that in a little bit, but of course, more storm damage to get through tonight, Stephanie.